on a previous video, we looked at central tendency, the mean, the mode, and the median. Now we're going to look at spread and how we measure the spread of data. So the very easy one you've probably done in the past is called the range. Now the range is simply the biggest take away the smallest. So from my stem and leaf diagram, my biggest number is 63, my smallest number 23, and this gives me 40. And that will be the very, very simple, easy way to find a very crude spread of the data. But what it doesn't take into consideration are things like outliers. So if I was to have a very, on this one, I don't really have an outlier, but if I was to have an outlier, then we might have some different data spread. So for example, if I go back to this one, and we were doing 99 take away three as the range, we've got an outlier in there. Now, we probably don't want to include that outlier in our range, or in our spread rather, obviously it's in the range. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this data set, and I'm gonna find something called the quartiles, and use it to find the interquartile range. First of all, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This number here is the median. That leaves half the numbers on the left side, half the numbers on the right side. And halfway between these two numbers, we have two in the middle, 32 and 32. And this is the lower quartile. So this is the quartile one, so the, and I add those two up and divide by two, and I get 32. So this is where a quarter of the numbers occur, right there. On the other side, we also have six numbers, and the upper quartile occurs in between these two numbers. So it's halfway from the upper half. There's the upper quartile. I add those two up, and I divide by two, and that gives me the upper quartile. So that's going to be 56.5. And what I'm going to do now is calculate something called the interquartile range, IQR for short, the interquartile range. And this is simply the upper quartile take away the lower quartile. And the interquartile range, the upper quartile take away the lower quartile. And why we do this, this is a better range of spread, 22.5, because it doesn't take into account the outliers. So let's go back and have a look at this graph with the, with the uh, cricket batsman on it. This is the person called Don Bradman here. If we discount him and we just go for the, the lower quartiles, we might be looking, and I'm just doing this roughly, it's something like this. So we would now say that the spread is the interquartile range and this is just a very rough and ready idea. It might be 50 minus 15. So we can see that the middle 50% are scoring their range is 35. And that's what the interquartile range takes into account, the middle 50% of the data.